This is my mom, Jackie, and my sweet mom. Say hi, mom. This is Leela Madden. Hello. I have my sweet teaster, Lena. Say hi, Jamie. Hi. This week, we have my fellow Misty. Misty <laughs> with an I. Misty with Misty a tail. Start with my friend, Jody Skorupski. This my friend, Dion. Hello. This time with Angela Britt. This time with Natalie King. I'm with Natalie Weekly, no pun intended. <laughs> like you never hear that one, right? <laughs> never. Misty Ann's Closet Reaper, she's getting organized. Misty Ann's Closet Reaper, what a sight for your sore eyes. Hi there, I'm Misty Ann, back in my closet week 23. So yes, as you saw in the pre-bumper, I have over the past 22 weeks had several wonderful stylists and friends with great fashion sids in my closet helping me put together my wardrobe. And I've also been to a couple of theirs to return the favor. So what I wanna do in this video is as I'm planning my wardrobe for next week, use my top five or six things that I have learned from all the great stylists and, and my friends over the past several weeks. So the first outfit that I wanna show you, I'm actually not gonna wear next week because I just recently wore it. I really love it. It was um, something that Jamie Beisel put together. So let me show you that. One of the other things Misty asked me to do is she wants to use some of her scarves. And so I saw this shirt and I'm like, okay, let's try. When I showed it to her, I said, let's try this shirt with these pants. And she said, really? And I said, yes, really. So then she put the pants on, tucked the shirt in, and then I'd already grabbed the scarf. And then with the scarf, she ties it around her waist. And then we're gonna clasp it with, with the pin. Okay, as I mentioned, I loved that outfit that Jamie put together. And I did um, recently wear a variation of it. So it's not gonna be worn next week. But um, one of the things, you know, I, I, I wanted to make sure you got to see this pinstripe up close. That's one of the things I've always loved about this blouse and, and I was challenged to find places to wear it before so I was really excited when Jamie put that together. One thing that I was a little uncomfortable about with the outfit though is um, with these pants the front band as you can see is, is nice and plain but on the back they're actually an elastic waistband and that's actually kind of exposed. And that I was a little uncomfortable with, with the outfit. So um, what I did to help with that when I did wear it again was just to put it with a simple cardigan. And then that covered that back band and I felt a lot more comfortable with it. Um, I think I would have preferred a, a navy cardigan, so I think that's another hole in my wardrobe, navy blazer. Navy, I can't believe I don't own a navy blazer. I no longer own a navy suit. Back in the 80s, navy was the black, so you had to have a navy suit. Anyway, don't have one right now, so big hole in my wardrobe. Um, this, I did think color-wise, it blended. It blended nicely with this beautiful sarong that um, Jamie used, so that worked. And um, again, just to show you close up, because I don't know if we did last time, I just bumped my head. Uh, I love this bracelet. I actually just picked this up at the airport one time when I was on a business trip and realized I'd forgotten to bring any jewelry. And then this pretty little earrings, um, these were that I picked up in uh, Montreal. And then again with my blue suede shoe. So um, that was how I compensated for that. And again, great outfit. I really loved it. So. For the next outfit, uh, Jody Skorupski had put together something for me with a scarf as a blouse. Um, so let me, let me show you that clip. So we have this scarf and... Uh, so really this is yeah. just a camisole under here, but mm -hmm. you're not going to see it. Nope. Because we're doing the scarf. Yes. Yeah. What you're going to do is um, it, you're going to take it and... Um, Fold it on the diagonal so you have sort of that handkerchief shape. The point is going to go in the back, and then you have the tail ends here. That we tuck in. Mm -hmm. You're going to sort of open it up underneath, and then tuck this into your pants. Mm -hmm. So it looks like that's, that's your nice. blouse. And okay, I loved that outfit. I loved that scarf. 
I felt like it was a little bit more in that summer space, although this season, especially since it's gonna be 81 day next week, I'm sure I could still wear it. But what I really wanted to do instead was try to take Jodi's idea and duplicate it with another scarf, since I do have a lot of scarves that I don't wear that often. So this is my scarf box over here, as you can see. And um, I started to look in here and the first one that I was kind of drawn to was um, this scarf here. Let me pull a little bit closer so you can sort of see the color and the pattern in there. I've always loved this. I wore it a lot in the 90s, um, but it's not quite long enough that I would really be able to effectively um, tuck it in and, and then not wide enough. So that one didn't quite work for that purpose. Um, then I kind of was drawn to this one. Hey, this is another one. In the early 90s, I wore this thing all the time. I wore it around my hips. I wore it as like a scarf with a coat. These colors tend to be good colors for me. They're sort of good fall colors. Um, but it does have this paisley pattern in it. And I felt like that dated it a little bit. I could be all wrong. If you have an opinion about that, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, but I, I just, I wasn't quite comfortable with that. And then I came to this scarf, which I've always loved, rarely wear. It seems like somebody did use this for me sometime in the last 23 weeks. But, um, so if you look at this one, it actually does have a little bit of a, a paisley pattern to it too. Um, but it also has this nice um, floral pattern. And as I was looking at it, I thought, gosh, that green that's in there actually works with the green pants that I just had, um, that Jody had paired with the blue and white um, top. So, uh, so I thought, yeah, that works with that. And then I noticed there's a lot of navy in here. And I thought, oh gosh, it's another time where I wish I had a navy blazer or a navy cardigan but it also has a lot of the pink. So I grabbed the, my pink blazer, which again, I think anything's going with pastels this season. And actually when I put the three of these together, I loved how that looked. And this is definitely long enough that it'll tuck in. So if you look at that, that works really well with that. So, um, but the other thing that dawned on me was, you know, I have these pants that I bought after I did my um, session with Leela. Um, and I love them. I just wasn't sure how many things I would wear with them, but you know, that would work with this too. So that would be another alternative I've had. I just wore these, I think two weeks ago. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the olive green pants for next week. But anyway, I, I'm really excited about that trick. So thank you, Jody. So for my next outfit, I wanted to go back to a concept that had come up when Leela and I were working together back, gosh, she was one of my first guests in early June, and we were doing the Fashion Love June Challenge, which had a different fashion criteria you had to meet for each day. So let's watch that. Okay. So what was what was Thursday is Thursday. our accessory day. That's right. So we started with this necklace. Okay, we so tried we, to start with a piece of clothing and that did not work. Okay. So we decided that for accessory day Thursday that we would pick a piece of jewelry and build the outfit around it. So we started with this lovely necklace. Which comes from Russia. And we built an outfit around the necklace. If you guys haven't done this, I highly encourage you to try it. This was so much fun. Okay, so I like that concept of designing an outfit around a piece of jewelry. So I thought, okay, let me go back to the video that I did with Angela Britt because she was actually here to help me fill some of the jewelry holes that I was told that I had in my wardrobe and closet. Uh, so one of the pieces that I've been noticing that I really like, but I haven't been wearing a lot lately, is this cashmere necklace, which is a Premier Designs necklace. Um, I had gotten it from Angela Britt at a party hosted by my friend, Julie McGuire. And, uh, I, and this is also the one that I had given away a couple of times. So I thought, but I've been challenged trying to find the right outfit for it. And Angela did style it with something. So let's look at the one she styled it with. Okay, so this is my the fourth outfit. Now you kind of pulled this together when I was in the other room. I so did. so tell me what where you were what Okay, so did. neutral on neutral is a great look for spring and then moving into fall. That's gonna be a really big trend is neutral on neutral. 
And so we took kind of this taupey, you know, blazer, and then we paired it with kind of these, um, these are kind of a, what color Caramel, would you call maybe? Caramel, that's a great color for that. Mm -hmm. And so these are the same tone, okay? So we paired those together, and again, what pulled it all together was her jewelry, okay? And so let's talk about that. So you tell them what this is and what you're doing with that. Okay, so this is part of one of these other necklaces that's on here, and it, this is the one that I gave away Gosh, weeks and weeks right. ago, cashmere is uh -huh. what it's called. So it's a premier design piece. So normally, so this comes with that other piece. It's just kind of like a little shorter piece. But so for this one outfit, you, you had me make it as a bracelet. I did. Because it hung just a little bit too long. You want, here's another tip for you. You want your necklace, the bottom of your necklace, to fall two to three fingertips above or below wherever your shirt and your skin meet, okay? That's good to know. So that was a little bit too low, and so it was falling into her neckline. And so she's going to wear that as a bracelet. And then what we did is we paired this. So chokers are still super on trend. Um, and you can create a choker look with a longer necklace by doing that high low look. Mm -hmm. And then we took the other piece to that cashmere That's and we fun. just layered those together. Okay, for this outfit, I ended up taking a little style journey. Original outfit that Angela put together, but I think I'm gonna try it with a pair of crop pants and a different pair of shoes. But I also wanna do a different jacket because I just wore this one. So how about this sweater instead and back to the other pants? But I think this pinstripe shirt would work better, but now the necklace is too much. So I think I'm gonna just go with this navy instead. But I don't like it with this sweater, but at least I can put the necklace back. How about I try it with this white sweater and now I can do the other pants and I can belt it. The only thing is this white sweater looks a little too seasonal. So how about I go with Joe Shaw, but now I think I need the navy blue shoes and I think the other necklace is too much and there you have it the finished product it only took like what 15 iterations look sometimes perfection takes a little time the next outfit that I really liked that I wanted to reuse was one that Natalie weekly had put together let's take a look at that one all right okay this is this is surprising this is I love it though okay so we went with simple basic peerings here is a trick when you are trying to make sure that your outfit looks complete. Um, if for some reason it looks simple, you can add just making sure that you have all three colors, that you have a, an odd number of colors. In this case, we're using three. We've got the cream, we've got the brown, and we've got the blue. And this may look just mm, kind of standard. It looks so good on her. And then to keep it interesting, because when we first, oh yeah, um, when we first paired it, uh -huh, we had just the jacket by itself. I should have hung those there. That's okay. That's <laughs> I'm going to show you. I'm going to put them, yes, I'm just show them closer. Perfect. But, so when we first paired it, we had just the jacket and the skirt. Cute. Well, we did the jacket buttoned. Cute, but it ended up looking a bit choppy. And typically when you are pairing solids together, you don't really want to chop yourself in half. You want to chop yourself into thirds. So we put on this belt, which brought in some of the navy, instantly brought her into proportion and looks so good. I loved that outfit. One of my favorite things about that outfit was these earrings, which I showed, um, that I got in Claro. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about them, I, I was a little uncomfortable when I thought that outfit was perfect when I wore it. I wasn't completely comfortable with wearing um, a short skirt right now. I've kind of lost any hint of a tan, um, and it's still kind of too warm in Houston to wear tights. So I thought I kind of maybe like to switch it up and do it with a slim pair of pants instead of a pencil skirt. Um, but I just wore my navy pants last week. So I decided to switch out instead of navy, pairing the camel co color with black. And I did have another black skinny belt. I have my black uh, pencil pants that are pretty form-fitting. And I noticed that in these earrings, there is also black as well as that gunmetal blue. So it still works. And then for the shoes, I did pull out my Ivanka Trump nude pumps, which I think will work perfect with this. So very excited to reuse that look. Thank you, Natalie. Okay, so for my fourth outfit, I. I'm feeling a little bit of that post-Halloween bloat. So I thought I would go back to the video that I did with Natalie King, where we did a whole week of outfits that are flattering when maybe you've put on a 
a couple of pounds or just feeling a little bit of bloated. Um, so let's see what she had to say about that. This was the Rent the Way Rent Run My Blouse we started with. Mm -hmm. And again, I think maybe one of the reasons this worked was because this ties like above the waist mm -hmm. and then you sort of almost, is this like a peplum, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it, it's another really great um, idea for the bloating is like that one was a faux wrap with the ruching. This is a true wrap. Um, so anytime that you have this kind of wrap situation right at your waistline, I think it did hit a little, a little bit high. higher. So yeah. it's kind of right in between like an empire weight. But then it has kind of this A-line here. So this automatically does all the camouflaging. You don't really need to have anything um, to be concerned about because this is the, the blousey part. But at the same time, the wrap and the tie brings in your shape so that it's not you're not losing your shape. I really love that top. I especially loved the blue dress with the ruching that we covered right before that segment and you can I'll, I'll put a link to her video and all the other videos I referenced down in the description. Um, those were Rent the Runway pieces so I do not currently have them but what I do have are some Rent the Runway pieces arriving this week. So let's take a look at the Diane von Furstenberg wrap dress that I think will do the trick nicely. Here is that Diane von Furstenberg dress that I rented from Rent the Runway. As you can see, it has this nice little wrap and tie right at the waist, so hopefully we'll be flattering just as Natalie had discussed. This is actually a navy blue pattern. I'm already wearing my navy blue T-strap pumps with something else, and I believe I'm wearing my nudes as well. So I think what I may wear with this is just my bright red pumps, and I think those will look great. So I am very excited. Okay, so for my last day of the week is Friday. That will be casual Friday, denim day. So definitely going with my new um, Gen 7 uh, dark navy denim. Uh, so what to pair it with? Well, Jody Skrupski had an interesting idea on this one. You do look good in an animal print. Yes, Jody, I do love an animal print. So I'm thinking this new animal print that I got on my haul a few weeks ago when I was looking for tops for a pencil skirt, same as the one I'm wearing, um, I thought that would go nicely. And then Misty Pace Crawl had a great comment on shoes when you're doing a denim at work. Um, a pointy shoe, here's a little tidbit. Um, a pointy shoe with any pant or jean mm -hmm. will actually elongate the leg. Excellent advice. So uh, that same pair, my Tamara Melons with the nice chunky heel and the nice pointy toe, I think will work very well with this combination. Now I'm very tempted to wear my red sweater with this because I think that that would work really well. But I wore this red sweater the last time that I wore my leopard shirt, so I don't think I want to wear it again this soon. Instead, I think I'm going to go with this sort of oversized jacket that I have. It's um, it's a much it's it's pretty big on me. It's from a suit that's fairly old that I wore, I believe, post maternity. Um, but I kept it because I've just always loved the shape and it's super comfortable. And I think the large size sort of makes it a little bit more casual. So I think that will add a little bit of um, color interest. And that is my week next week. Thank you so much again. I have had so much fun for the last five months doing this and I'm looking forward to continuing it. If you're enjoying it, again, please do give me a like and subscribe, but I would also love some comments. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to see me focus on, any particular type of person's closet that you would like to see. I've been doing some younger people, some people in sort of different stages in their life, some that have just had babies. Um, so anyway, any comments like that would be greatly appreciated. And in the meantime, everyone have a great week. Oh, one more thing, you might wanna check out my blog, closet reboot Com, and I'll post a link below and you can also find it on my about page. Every Monday after I do these videos, I post the outfits from the week before. So all of these things you've seen me show you a week from tomorrow, I will post on my blog and you can see how they looked on me. All right, everyone have a great week and I'll see you next time.